And look at the physical advantage of Michael Venom Page. 6'3 to Cyborg Santos is 5'10, but only a 3-inch reach advantage. The O2 Arena is coming unglued for Michael Venom Page as we go to Michael C. Williams. Arena here in London. Bellator MMA presented by Miller Lite. Now features welterweight set for three five-minute rounds brought to you by Gold Bond Powder Spray. And now, first introducing the blue corner at 5 foot 10, weighing in 170 pounds even. His professional record stands at 21 and 17 with 12 victories by knockout, six by way of submission from Polonopolis, Matagaraso, Brazil. He fights out of Houston, Texas, USA. Introducing Evangelista, Cyborg Dos Santos. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner at six foot three, weighing in 169.8 pounds. Impressive in the Bellator cage, the undefeated professional enters with 10 victories, six by knockout, three by submission, hailing from and fighting out of London, England, introducing MVP Michael Venom. In charge of the action, your referee, Big John McCarthy. Today we've gone over the rules. I want you to protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. I want you to fight hard, but fight clean. If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Good luck to both of you. For those of you unfamiliar with the Unified Rules, three five-minute rounds in MMA, unless it's a championship fight, 10-point must system, probably more liberal with 10, eight rounds in MMA than you're gonna see in boxing, and effective striking, effective grappling, cage control, innocuous terms everybody's learning more about. What would happen, everyone wanted to know, when Michael Venom Page got in there with a true veteran. To you by Miller Lite, the original light beer. Cheers, it's Miller time. My question initially is how does Santos handle the speed of MVP? Not well at the start. Santos, not a fast guy at middleweight. Always kind of a plotting guy. Very traditional Thai style. How does he handle the speed? And the range right there. You saw that kick not even come close because MVP can start his offense from so far away. The speed you need to catch him is unfathomable. Now, he talked about counterpunching. Problem is, you have to be able to read your opponent's offense somewhat to counterpunch. MVP generally so accurate. By the time guys figure him out, it's too late. Good right hand. And MVP had game plan that. He didn't want any piece of cyborg on the ground. No. The style is unorthodox, but it's not as much dancing and clowning right now because I think he knows Cyborg isn't going to be affected by that. No, he won't. It won't mentally get him out of the fight. Big jump knee. The uh, problem is that brought him into grappling range. That's not where he wants to be against Cyborg. Real submission skills. We saw that against Brennan Ward. Has him down. Here's where that build works against him. Long and tall, but Cyborg all over him with the pressure right now. Good job by MVP getting back to his feet. He's not out of the woods yet. Nice. Took him down away from the fence. Good tactical choice. This is what so many people wanted to see. MVP out of a defensive position. So I'm going to leg lock position of his own. Is he going to go for it? He is. What would it mean if he submitted Cyborg Santos? BJJ black belt. Not engaging his hips enough. See that arm in the way. In between his legs. That could be saving him right now. 
Surprised he went for that. This is exactly where Cyborg wanted to be early in this fight, two minutes left. That's why this matchup was so unusual and so different from what we've seen before. The experience on the ground. As MVP has told us over and over again, he wants to show his jiu-jitsu, he wants to show the other parts of his game, but this may not be the night, this may not be the time, this may not be the place, and this may definitely not be the opponent. And look, relentless pressure on the ground. Not giving him any space at all. Trying to move up, maybe crucifix, trying to pass that half guard. He's got his leg through. That is side control and trapping the arm. First time we've seen MVP in this position. Did he do enough early in the round to build up a lead? This is going to make it. And those of you watching MMA for the first time, that's why these rounds are so difficult. Five minutes is such a long time. You can have two very different fights take place within those five minutes. Sometimes you have three or four. In the beginning, MVP landing some good strikes. But Cyborg getting the takedown so far. Advancing position on the ground, but not much ground and pound. No submission attempts. Cyborg said Michael Venom Page is not a real fighter yet, no matter how many fights he has won, because his, none of his wins have been come from behind. Everyone wanted to see MVP get a test. He's got one. Put your fingers. You need to work. Remember what happened to Cyborg Santos the last time against Sayada Watt? He got so committed to trying to finish on the ground. He took so many shots. He's done a much better job protecting himself here. A strong, quick start from MVP, but a better finish for Cyborg Santos. Here's the quick start. Yeah, beautiful right hand. That sent Santos to the ground. But back up and still composed. And look at this takedown. That was the beginning of, really, Santos' round. Side control, holding it well. A little bit of ground and pound. Always advancing position. And here's the attempted leg lock by Page. And that's the reason I'm going to go in, I think, a 10-10 round. This was the key to me, that they were on the ground, but Page had his moment. Went for the knee bar on the ground. I'm going to go 10-9 Page. Remember, we're in Page's backyard. I think this is how the judge is going to see it. 10-9 Page, but really a 10-10 round to me. Sophie, good to see you. Cyborg Santos was very much aware of not having this fight go the distance. He was concerned about decisions. A lot of Michael Bisping references over the last couple of the weeks leading into this fight. Doesn't feel like he'll get a decision here at a close round. He feels will go against him. And that first round, if nothing else, was very close. Right, and, and that's why I went 10-9 Page. And also remember, effective striking, I believe that belongs to Page. Effective grappling belonged to Santos, but Page did go for that knee bar. Santos landed virtually nothing on the feet. So I'm going 10-9 Page, but it's a close first round. MVP back in his comfort zone now. Just like round one, the unusual movement is there, but the clowning is not. And also that traditional tie guard, hands up, very, very high, elbows down. You're not gonna faint Santos out of that guard easily. Gotta land something to make him move. Clowning's not gonna do it. You're saying those shoot a box guys don't go for that yeah. kind of. <laughs> they they certainly little, do not. A little discipline there. Oh. 
unbelievably disciplined. Thin line between sparring and war in that academy. Every day, day after day after day after week after month after year. Mm, speed in that lead oh. hand, phenomenal. You don't see it until it's coming back. Cyborg will not take the bait. MVP's getting closer and closer, leaning in. Now, what he will do is try and capitalize with his grappling on opportunities like that. You see, when he had him open, he went for the lunge takedown, not a strike. Wasn't much. The presence of mind to throw just that little back fist just to keep Cyborg away so he could recreate the distance after taking that chance. I'm surprised Cyborg doesn't try a little bit more of that. We saw in the opening round the back fist, not even to land, just to get close to MVP. Talk about the tortoise in the hair. No comparison in speed. But on the ground, no comparison in pressure, and that's where Santos wants to be. Just MVP wants to take those big chances, score that spectacular knockout, but he could put himself in a position to end up back on the yeah, ground. He's got to be careful of those back kicks. Not even close. And Santos is giving up the strike halfway yeah. through because he knows he's not in the ball park. One thing MVP has really yet to do is open up with combinations. I mean, a lot of single strikes, a lot of setups. Hasn't really thrown more than one at a time. Maybe two, but not that three, four punch combination. That's some, but not enough. By the time you lunge forward, yeah. you've already taken yourself out of a power punching position. It's closing so much distance in one shot. It's very hard with Santos's build to have that lunging shot and keep your hips and legs underneath you. MVP is so long, he can do that. Look at that straight right hand. Legitimate five, six inch miss, and that's a mile in this situation. Five seconds doesn't sound like a long time. In a 100-yard dash, it's forever. Beautiful liver shot. That hurt him. Santos is hurt. He is really hurt. He's taking his time to recover. MVP doesn't buy it. And he respects the power of Santos. You talk about the bravado, you talk about the confidence. He's also a smart guy. He knows he's in there with a guy that can hurt him. A wounded animal is dangerous. Doesn't want to go in for, there for the finish and give him that counter-punching opportunity. What do you lose out of the playbook after taking a big liver shot like that? If you oh, can even stay in the fight. I, I mean, if you, A, it's hard to keep your right hand up. B, it's very hard to move. C, it's hard to breathe. So just about everything you need in a fight, you lose off the liver shot. It can come back. Beautiful. runs into the jump knee. It's over. Did the hype train just pick up speed? Because it didn't derail. Wow. Another strike thrown by Michael Venom Page. From the moment the liver shot landed, the clock was ticking on Cyborg Santos. He took a chance and paid the big price. And the way it happened, only MVP. Look at the liver shot that hurt him. Right here, look at this is slow motion, folks. Slow motion, and that's fast. And then here, look at this lunging shot. Could not have timed it any better. Off the right hand lead by Cyborg Santos. Bang! Beautiful shot. Another unforgettable finish. That was the Hands of Stone replay brought to you by the new film in theater. Some of the kids have to tell me what that is. No idea. Cyborg basically was in a 7-10 split after taking the liver shot. It was just a matter of time before MVP scored his 11th win without a defeat.